This story is not just about investment information. It's about a company that, despite having unclear financials and unverified technologies, was listed on the NASDAQ and saw its stock price surge over 65% in just one day. A true anomaly shrouded in mystery. The company is BTQ Technologies. Headquartered in Vancouver, Canada, it claims to be a next-generation cybersecurity firm focused on post-quantum encryption, technologies designed to remain secure, even in an era dominated by quantum computing. Post-quantum encryption is a critical technology that aims to defend against the future threat of quantum computers, which can solve calculations in seconds that would take even the most advanced classical computers billions of years. This poses a major threat to today's internet security, financial networks, government systems, and blockchain infrastructures. BTQ Technologies positions itself as a leading name in this space, claiming to develop a suite of breakthrough technologies, including the cryptographic accelerator Cash, a quantum secure stablecoin network called QSSN, zero knowledge proof tools, and hardware security modules. But here's the strange part. None of these technologies have been independently verified. There are no benchmark results, no demo videos, and no confirmed commercial use cases. Normally, for a tech startup to gain market trust, it needs three things. First, verifiable technical validation by independent institutions. Second, real customers and sales performance. Third, a stable and transparent financial structure. BTQ Technologies, however, met none of these three conditions. Even so, on September 26, 2025, it was successfully listed on the NASDAQ. That same day, its stock price soared over 65% from the previous day's close. In typical cases, such a sharp rise would be driven by major capital injections, confirmed government contracts, or significant commercial deals with global players. But BTQ Technologies had no such foundation. At the time of listing, its quarterly revenue was approximately 650,000 Canadian dollars, with a net loss of about 4.6 million Canadian dollars its earnings per share were negative. By standard financial logic, uh, the stock's explosive growth and the company's successful listing appear difficult to explain. So what exactly was the market reacting to? What justified the premium that investors so readily gave this company? The clues may lie in the company's strategic timing of announcements and disclosures just before and after the listing. In particular, BTQ claimed that its QSSN technology was cited as a model example in the U.S. government's post-quantum financial infrastructure framework, PQFIF, a draft policy co-authored by the U.S. Treasury, Federal Reserve, and Securities and Exchange Commission. On the surface,